英語聞き流し10分間名作リスニング英語テキストと MP3 ダウンロードその他の物語はホームページよりご利用いただけます 88thpp.com 88thpp.com It's about the drama club I belong to at junior high school. I was a member of the drama club at junior high school. There were almost 100 newcomers when I first joined it in the seventh grade, but only six remained, including me, after a month because of sober training that was far from the stage glamour. We did voice and physical exercises every day to develop our abdominal muscles. In the end of the exercises, The members would stand side by side and utter a loud and long tone one by one in front of the club captain. While we were squeezing ah, a senior member would put a hand on our shoulder to see if it rose. If we were doing abdominal breathing, our shoulders didn't rise. The club captain would time the length of the tone and check whether it wavered or not. A loud, long, steady voice was good and I was the one who always uttered the loudest, longest, steadiest ah without raising my shoulders. While the club captain corrected each member, in my turn she would say nothing to be corrected to me. That made me so happy and I practiced diligently back at home too, to hear her say that every time. Gradually, I had tougher training at the club such as tongue twisters, short dialogues and pantomime. For some reason, I was good at those and had a good word from the captain each time. I began to think I might have a talent for acting. Secretly I took pleasure in picturing myself on the stage of a school play. A sad fact was, I was a fat and short girl. Even with the ability to act well, things wouldn't go so smoothly for an ugly girl like me in the theater. But back then, I was too young and innocent to realize that. I just kept on striving and improving only my acting without caring about my bad looks. Audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. As a daily routine, I check my horoscope every morning on TV. Mine warned a fight. I check my partner's, and to my surprise, it foresaw a fight, too. We have never had this similar horoscope before. It seemed impossible to avoid a fight as it was, and I fell back on another horoscope on my cell phone to offset the ones on TV. I was speechless when I saw it also say that there would be a fight. Now, a fight was inevitable, very likely between my partner and me. Feeling gloom, I was ready for it. But I still hoped I could manage to avert a fight somehow and spent the whole day studying his mood carefully and flattering him. As the day wore on, I was extremely tired from the effort not to offend him, which I wasn't used to. In desperation, I even tried to initiate a fight because I wanted to do away with it. He showed no interest and a fight didn't happen. It was such a nerve wracking day. I might as well have a fight as endure a stressful day avoiding one. Audiobook. Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. This incident happened one New Year's at the end of the card game called Kabu, in which my uncle acted as dealer for the yearly family casino at my grandparents' house. He had lost quite a lot to my cousin, who was his son, as usual that night, and my cousin had left the table as the morning dawned. My uncle, my mother, and I were left at the table, and the game was about to close. My mother asked for a few more deals because she had also lost a large sum and wanted to get it back. To recover her loss quickly, She bet by the $100. The game was played for high stakes every year, but I had never seen the stakes this high. She lost in succession and her loss swelled to $500 in a flash. This is the last bet, she claimed in desperation and put $500 on the table. 
She tried to offset her total loss on the last deal of the game. All at once the tension skyrocketed and strange silence filled the room. I held my breath and withdrew my usual small bet. The cards were dealt tensely and my mother and my uncle showed their hands of fate. Both hands were ridiculously bad but my mother's was even worse. She lost $1,000. Burying her head in her hands, she repeatedly uttered, It can't be. Can't be true. I saw tears in her widely opened bloodshot eyes. Then she repeated, Oh my. Oh my. In a faint voice for 10 times and staggered away. I clearly remember her state of stupor. A couple of days later back in our home, I enticed her into playing Kabu with me since I learned how poorly she played it and I knew I would win. I used to receive cash as a New Year's gift from my relatives during New Year's and it would amount to $1,000. I dangled it in front of her and said that it would be her chance to get back her loss. She took it and we played for $1,000. As I had thought, she lost another $1,000 to me. She said she couldn't pay, and I offered her the installment plan. I got $100 more to my monthly allowance of $30 for the next 10 months. That was the richest year in my early teens. Many years later, she failed in real estate investment and lost most of our family fortune that had been inherited for generations. The amount she lost that time was well over $1 million. And that was the money I was supposed to inherit. Audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. Yesterday I happened to see a news program on TV reporting about a discount store, which carried the lowest price soda in Japan. Lowest price is the keyword that always hooks me and I watch the report. Astonishingly, the reported store is located near my apartment. I rushed into the store today. It existed on the site of a supermarket where I used to shop frequently but was closed for good four years ago. The building had been abandoned until the new discount store opened there last July. I can't believe I had neglected to find it for almost a year as a person who is hunting for the lowest price constantly. While the building was the same as four years ago, the store had been transformed into my taste. The prices are incredibly low, some are the lowest in Japan, and the store opens 24 hours. I had wanted an around-the-clock discount store for years. Since I decided to move out here, I found fabulous shopping destinations one after another, first Costco, then this place. Is this a sign to stay put? I'm so confused now. Audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. Audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. ご視聴ありがとうございました。88thpp.com88thpp.com88thpp.com